Welcome back, you dingoes. We finally made it to the end of season one. My throat still hurts because I'm a madman. This game is too much fun. It's addicting. I'm right back at it from my last two recordings. So we're on our like six and a half now. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We're here for it. I'll try to be quiet because my throat hurts. And of course, now is a good time for me to let you know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. But we'll hear more from Squarespace later on in the video. Enough for me though. Let's get to the off season, those training boosts and new recruits. We finished three and nine last year. Our main goal in season one was to not get fired and we achieved just that. This is gonna be like the only time in the off season where it's not emotional for players leaving because it's only Jeremy Jimmy. Unless somebody's transferring that I don't know about, it's just one guy. One guy who didn't really do much. <laughs> no, Todd Mitchell got fired. Who do we have coming in? DJ Elliott. It's a weird way to spell that too. D minus prestige. Rip to Todd Mitchell. UGF native is gone now. I, I should have waited to bring those guys in. They're not going to be around for much longer, are they? Yeah, there it is. Jeremy Jimmy, the only player graduating. I wonder what his degree is in. What do you study out in the desert? Cacti? Look, look at these stats. 14 tackles, one interception, one pass deflection. <laughs> this is going to be a, a doozy of a highlight reel. One interception. Let's see if I can find it. Jeremy, Jimmy, he picks it off. Don't fumble it, son. That's going to be the ball game. I don't really know what Jeremy Jimmy's future is. Usually I try to think about it. it. Like if they're interesting players, I try to write them a backstory if they don't go to the NFL. But Jeremy Jimmy, who knows? I mean, he's just graduating, moving on with his life. We wish you the best, Jeremy Jimmy. Do something with your life. Let's see if anybody wants to transfer. Do you want to export this class to Madden 25? Absolutely not. <laughs> Jeremy Jimmy's not making the NFL. 44 overall. Yeah, don't need to hold my breath on that one. Do we even care about the draft results? Maybe Jeremy Cantrell's going to the NFL. That's the only thing that might be interesting to see. Okay, he wasn't even up for the NFL, I guess. Both of their running backs went in the first round. That's wild. And then their free safety, 99 overall. Yeah, that team was unbelievably good. Utah State's running back got drafted. Guy was a beast. UGF's middle linebacker gets drafted in the sixth round. You would think they would have more players going to the NFL, but I guess not. Let's see, does anyone want to transfer out of DVSU? I certainly would. Oh, we got transfers in. A free safety from San Jose State in the same conference as us. A left tackle from Stanford and a left tackle from Wyoming. They both look awful, but we'll take them. The guy is 87 zone coverage. Heck yeah. Sweet. He's only a freshman too. Of course, the transfer's got to sit out for a year, so we won't see him for a while, but he'll be a nice addition to the team. Into recruiting now, our team needs. We need a wide receiver and two cornerbacks, but we need to replace every position on the team. So yeah, that's just our main priority. I suppose. John Evans probably at the top of the list, but we're behind Kalispell, so that's going to be a close battle. Chris Richard, we're behind 800 points. That might be tough to get him. Reggie Brantley behind 425. Seth Burton, we might have a chance at him. Seth Burton, we got a good lead. I want to make sure we cop him because he's so good. I don't know because I don't want to waste points on him if, if like somebody jumps us. Let's lock down Seth Burton then. Let's put like 6K on him. So here's the thing. Reggie Brantley would be an, an epic quarterback. He'd also be very good at defensive back as well. So he could play both sides of the ball. He could even return if we need him to. But we are in second place right now behind 425 points. John Evans, we're only down by 95 points to Kalispell. He would be a good quarterback too. We already have quarterbacks. He would also be an amazing receiver. I want them both, obviously, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. I I'm afraid if we go all in on Reggie Brantley, we won't end up getting him. Is 5K going to be enough for John Evans? I don't know. But I've had this guy on my board for so long, I've already had him in the back of my head that we've already got him committed. I'm giving up on Chris Richard. We're not going to get him, sadly. Hope we don't get jumped on a lot of these dudes. Probably we'll get Alvin White, so we'll have a kicker next year. That's good. Okay, we're so far ahead on Seth Burton. Let's pull back on him. This is a risk, but it might be a risk I'm willing to take. Let's do it. I'm sending that. This is this is probably stupid, but like I was all in on John Evans the entire year. So if we lose him now, I'll be dead devastated signing day here we come i swear Kalispell, if you take john evans from me we're putting you on the schedule next year and we're blowing you out by 40. let's go we got john evans did not get chris richardson but we got seth burton austin moore jr miller reggie brantley committed to louisiana that's fine 
He was a bit of a reach anyway. We got Andrew Foster, Eric Franklin, Mark Sands. That, that's the 6'6 six, six receiver. Awesome. Morgan Archie. How did we get Morgan Archie? That's wild. Jason Horn. We got a running back. We got jumped on a couple of these people. UGF taking Derek Clark from us. John Smith, 6'7 linebacker, goes to Utah State. Freaking Alvin White went to Washington. Are you kidding me? But unfortunately, we don't get a kicker. That's a team need that I wanted to fill, but we didn't. UCLA, Stanford, California put that many points on Alvin White. Like, we were so far ahead, I didn't think we would have to. 815 points behind on Reggie Brantley. So you're telling me if I put another 1,000 on him, we would have got him? Ah, uh, that sucks. We got Seth Burton by 4,000. Oh, that's that's frustrating. So if I would not have put that many points on him, we could have got Reggie Brantley too. It's all good though. We locked down a four-star recruit, basically Mark Marquard 2.0. Six-four cornerback. Won't let me show his stats right now, but we'll get to him in a second. We got Morgan Archie, Austin Moore, 77 overall Juco transfer. Andrew Foster, another Juco transfer. J.R. Miller, another Juco transfer. Jason White, who might be our starting running back. Mark Sands, who's going to be a legend for our team. 95 speed, 6'6". But we do get our man, John Evans. Finally. Get out of here, Kalispell. I wanted this guy so badly. Sad we don't get Chris Richard, but that's just part of it. We had to throw our points somewhere, and he was not at the top of my list. We don't get Jason Mason either, and he was a good player. Sneak away with Eric Franklin, who was a, pretty much a steal in my opinion. One star, 69 overall. Juco transfer, he's going to be good. Sad we don't get John Smith, but it looks like... A lot of teams valued him way more than I did. We finish with the 62nd ranked class in the country. 20 total recruits coming in. We got one four star, 10 three stars, eight two stars, and one one star. Not a bad recruiting for year one. Seth Burton's gonna be effective right away. Can't wait to see him on the field. John Evans, very excited about him. A lot of these people are gonna be household names here soon. Actually, now that I mentioned that, a lot of these names might be changing because our Patreon supporters get changed to some of the incoming recruits so that should be exciting now that we have actual quarterbacks on the team i'm gonna change jt martinez and antoine goodwin to other positions so they can get some playing time and still contribute to the team in some capacity yeah we're definitely gonna move martinez would be a 71 overall running back that's nice 66 overall receiver i'm trying to decide i mean that's pretty high for an overall at running back but he's got 71 speed i don't know if that's good enough for me Let's see how many receivers we end up with. I'm going to move Antoine Goodwin to running back, actually. He, sh he proved last year that he was probably our best runner. He's terribly inaccurate, so I don't want to play him at quarterback anymore. Michael Wilson, he is not very athletic, so we'll keep him at the quarterback position. Jason Horn will probably be our starter, but his name is probably going to change as we do have one of the Patreon supporters moving into that position. Matt Mitchell will instantly be the starter at tight end. All the freshmen will be instant starters. Rare that that happens. Daniel Slaughter, our first recruit ever. I'm going to move him over to left tackle. He's going to develop very nicely. Jermaine Hodges is actually going to stay in the starting lineup. Our best offensive lineman from last year. So that's pretty cool. Craig Goddard, absolutely starting right outside linebacker. I think he's the only linebacker commit we actually ended up getting unfortunately cornerback number one he's gonna be a stud look at this man skills 87 zone coverage 85 man 87 pursuit 81 press 82 play rec this guy's gonna be a freshman all-american guarantee it avery harris starting free safety but we won't get him for another year jeff jordan though will be starting this year at strong safety don't have another kicker this year I, how did i miss getting a kicker I was trying for multiple people, but I couldn't get them committed. All right, we have five athletes we have to sort around. Oh, sweet. Andrew Foster is another offensive lineman. Let me go look at his stats again. What's his strength? 76. Yeah, that's doable. Oh, he could play defensive lineman too. Linebacker, maybe. What's his speed? 72. Where do we need him most? I got a decision to make, and I wish I could ask the comments, but I can't. I think we need that help on defense. We're just way too thin at linebacker. At the left outside linebacker spot, and we're going to have Dee Dee Rogers staying at the middle linebacker spot. Oh, sweet. This guy is another linebacker too. Hold up. Hold the phone. This guy's got 80 strength. Great play recognition. Great tackling. 84 finesse moves. Hold up. Hold up here, boys. I think I made a wrong decision. We're actually going to move this guy back to offensive lineman. Move him over to right tackle. I think that'll be good. Fill out those positions. Wow. He'd be a 77 overall at defensive end or we can put him at linebacker where he'd be like a 76 he'd be a 77 overall middle linebacker he's on the slower end so i think he would be better at defensive end probably and the finesse moves and power moves are very strong i think that's where he fits best austin moore moving into the defensive end position 
Sweet. All right, let's take a look at J.R. Miller. 89 speed, 86 acceleration. Not the best tackling in the world. Solid coverage stats. We could definitely use some help over there. This might be a guy I play on both sides of the ball. I'm thinking he would have more potential at receiver. I'm trying to decide. Okay, where's Eric Franklin going? I got to go to the bathroom though. Give me a second. Let's hear from our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an awesome place to design your website or online store. It's sophisticated, but easy to use, doesn't require any plugins. You can purchase a custom domain directly from Squarespace. They really follow the best practices for SEO, so your website will be easily searchable and have access to all of the analytics your brand might need. For example, you can make a website for, let's say, your favorite YouTube series, build a community with complete commenting features, scheduled posts, and have a beautiful video background with zero coding experience. For real, it's fun, simple. I made a website myself, and I genuinely liked how it turned out so do yourself a favor head on over to squarespace.com you get a free trial and once you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash not the expert to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain thanks again to squarespace for sponsoring this video one star recruit says he's a 69 overall i think he might be higher though look at this 91 speed 87 acceleration great man coverage great zone coverage Great route running. My good, this guy can play both sides of the ball. Well, he's got 57 catching. So he's he's going to be a corner first, but we might throw him in there occasionally and he's going to have bricks for hands. We're going to put him at corner number two. All right, J.R. Miller. 74 overall free safety. 74 running back. That'd be good. Or is this 76 receiver? I think that would be the highest receiver we got. We could fit him in there occasionally at corner, but I think his potential is way higher on the offensive side of the ball. So that's where I'm going to go. John Evans though. So here's the decision of the year. He would be our most accurate quarterback. Uh, his throw power is slightly above everyone else. So that's not the big deciding factor, but he would be an amazing receiver. Like he would not drop a single pass. That spectacular catch is through the roof but he can break tackles he can truck he's got great elusiveness amazing carrying so he would either be a really good dual threat quarterback or an amazing receiver and i think for me i gotta go receiver here it's tough because you can play him both ways but i think his potential is way higher at receiver we can probably find a better quarterback later on so i don't want to waste this guy's potential i'm gonna go with my gut throw him at receiver not everyone's going to agree with me. I get that. I'm thinking JT Martinez goes to running back. I want to keep him on the team. And that's the best way to do it. So our quarterback situation, it's going to be a battle between Jasper Walker and J.R. Black. So here we go. We're going to run through the roster. Rate my performance on the position changes. It was a tough decision for a lot of these players because we need people at every position. So I, I think I went with where I think people had the most potential to succeed long term. We're definitely not a championship team this year. So we're just trying to develop them as much as we can. At quarterback, we've got Jasper Walker and J.R. Black. Back. Running back, we got JT Martinez. He will still be on the team as he's our highest overall right now. Jason Horn might start though as he has 92 speed. I'm thinking I'm going to keep Antoine Goodwin and Matt Morrow also on the team. Everybody else likely to be cut or redshirted, especially you, Zach Thompson and Kenny Horn. You guys really didn't do anything. At fullback, we still got Chris Shiovitz. He's going to lead the charge there. Actually, hold the phone. Jamie James, what are you at fullback? 40. No, that's trash. At receiver, we're going to have John Evans leading the charge. Then we got J.R. Miller, Mark Sands, Morgan Archie. Definitely going to keep Dick Boulder because he's the GOAT. Maybe Jacob Hill, maybe Seth McKenna. Brady Miller, it's not looking good for you. Sorry, buddy. Matt Mitchell's going to be a beast at tight end. Still going to keep Joseph Davis. We got a whole new offensive line. Probably the best one, Daniel Slaughter. True freshman, 71 overall. And we got another true freshman, Alonzo Jenkins. Keith Logan at center. David Hearn at right guard. And then at right tackle, we have Andrew Foster who's going to be a junior coming in. Left in, we got Brandon Andrews, true freshman. He's going to develop nicely. Juco transfer Austin Moore. He's going to be a stud on the defensive line, 77 overall. Jeremy Rogers. We'll probably have Alex King playing left outside linebacker. I think he's my favorite guy out there right now. We got Dee, Dee Rogers at middle linebacker. Glad to see him still on the team. Craig Goddard will be starting right outside linebacker. He's going to get a lot of tackles this year. At cornerback, we got the only four star on this roster, Seth Burton, 77 overall. Man, I'm excited to play with this guy. Eric Franklin will also be backing him up. We got Easton Gorman, Bill Dingle, and Tony Gallo still out there. So not the best corners in the world, but we're working with what we got. 
Free safety will still be Jesse Shelton. But like I said, we're going to move Alex King, the left outside linebacker. Jeff Jordan will be starting at strong safety. The cleanup man for us. <laughs> we still got Justin Powell kicking. But I got to say, he had a pretty good season last year, so I'm not too disappointed. We're still stuck at like... 45 field goal range which isn't the best and we got blaze Bortles still at punter and we're gonna move these guys all around the depth chart because they are easily the best players on our roster these 20 guys will be playing quite a bit for this football team Ooh, training results this is always a fun one let's see how much these walk-ons improve after one year who's gonna have the highest one please tell me jt martinez that guy had a crazy season oh yes plus six overall 77 sweet dude he's got 72 speed 86 acceleration he's got some solid trucking 89 elusiveness gotta get him some touches this year he's just got the magic man the magician you gotta keep him out there avery harris as our second highest overall from the training boost antoine goodwin 80 speed 80 break tackle 74 elusiveness he's pretty solid too let's see what blaze bortles is working with 90 kick power good good 42 accuracy hopefully he can kick it straight this year dd rogers moving up five overall points 65 overall 71 speed 85 acceleration 71 tackle 77 block shed dick boulder 61 overall 76 catching 78 route running that's all i need out of you buddy jermaine hodges 60 overall Good enough to get some playing time, though, that's for sure. Matt Morrow, 95 acceleration. Jamie James, I mean, he's getting better at breaking tackles and stuff. These are a lot of good improvements, a lot of plus six overalls and stuff. We got plus seven on Tiger Walton. What a name. I didn't even know this guy was on the team. That's good. Lowest overall now is a 44. Michael Wilson, what's his throw power and stuff up to? 71 accuracy. Throw power is still dog doo-doo. How about Joseph Davis? Let me check on this dude. 71 catching. Man, he played way above his overall. Damatamo, 53 overall. I like to see the improvement, Jesse Shelton. Up to a 55 overall. Alex King getting a little bit faster. His catching's even going up. Good. All right, pal. Please tell me you got some improvements. 56 kick power, 56 accuracy. Not half bad, buddy. Wow, that's crazy. We have exactly the roster size we need. 70 out of 70. So we don't have to cut anybody. Do we cut people just for the heck of it? Nah, I'll wait for that until next year. Oh, nice. BJ Hale is now level five. I'm adding the upgrade point to the closer so we get... 500 extra recruiting points in weeks 8 through 15. Our new defensive coordinator is level 14. Already an improvement from Todd Mitchell, even though I am sad to see him go. Here's our schedule this season. We're going to start out with a tune-up game, I guess. Or maybe it's going to be a shootout with FCS again. Then after that, we'll play the highly anticipated UGF versus Death Valley State. Week four, we'll take on Mr. Hurricane's Kalispell Warhawks. That should be a fun one. And then after that, it's just the usual conference games. I had to take off USC because I wanted to play UGF and Kalispell in year two. Hopefully you're all okay with the change. And also I wanted the tune-up game against FCS Southeast. Playing USC again to start out the year would be, it would be rough for us. I don't want to do that. New year, new recruiting. Let's see what we got out here. Nice. Joe Brown looks solid. Ooh, Joey Dixon doesn't look half bad. Oof, that guy's trash. Get him out of here. <laughs> Looking at our team needs this year. So we don't need anybody on offense, but we need a middle linebacker and a punter. But there's still a ton of positions that can improve, so... Because we're also trying to fill up those backup roles with some quality players. Wow! Dede Rogers is a first-team All-American at middle linebacker. Gotta love the effort, Dede. Oh, we're dead last. Yeah, no surprise. But we upgraded to a 59 overall team. That's still lower than UGF Season 1, but we were like what 27 overall last year more than doubled our overall in one year talk about improvements <coughs> <coughs> if you couldn't tell i'm dying so in next episode we will start season two i gotta end this episode quick because my throat hurts boys i sound like your grandpa's farts right now and that's not a pleasant sound so i'm gonna end this video right here but anyways i want to thank you guys so much for watching you're all legends in my book but as for me i am a very horse true morris because you're speak, not the expert and i'll see all you guys in my next video peace oh my lord save me jesus my throat